All right, guys, in this video, I'll be talking about Dr. Phil and how he treats people like trash. And don't get me wrong, his show can be entertaining at times, but the way he treats people on there is just terrible, and I don't think Dr. Phil's a good guy. A part of his show is him just bringing on mentally ill people, and he acts like he's a psychologist there just trying to help them, but really, he's just trying to get views out of them, and he's trying to make them look like a fool and make his audience laugh at him. And it's pretty obvious that he cares more about the views than actually helping anybody, because any real psychologist is going to tell you that this is not the way to help anybody, and it's only probably going to hurt them. So the first example I have of this is this girl he brings on that had a really traumatic past like i think she was essayed when she was younger and she's like abused and stuff like that and now i guess she's stalking some girl she met online and she thinks she's in love with her which is obviously a bad thing to do i'm not saying this girl's innocent but this is obviously a really complicated issue that should be taken more serious like if dr phil actually wants to help people he should say like maybe we should take care of this with a, like a private psychologist like not in front of my audience and the whole world watching you truly think it's the love story of the century Really? I do, yes. I'm writing a book about it, actually. It's the love story of the century, but you've never physically met. No, sir. And y'all can uh. laugh at me. It's fine. I will be your spectacle. I will be your laughing, laughing spectacle. You can all laugh at me. It's well, fine. Well, you know what? I think we're just going to shut this down, because I'm not into all this melodrama and you playing the victim and everything, so... You're, you're saying the audience is, is making a spectacle out of you. That's not what I'm about. That's not what I do. I, I, I had you come here to help you. Making a spectacle out of people is his whole show. Like, he brings on the wackiest people and the craziest people he can find. Like, I'm pretty sure he has his producers, like, scour the internet for, like, the craziest people and brings them on. He's like, do you know how crazy you are? Do you know how crazy you sound? Like, that's his whole shtick. Like, it's so obvious he's not trying to help anyone. He's just doing it all for entertainment. And I think the show even has to admit that, that it's just for entertainment. It's not, like, real psychologist advice. Like, even this clip, before she said you can all laugh at me, I'm pretty sure there were some audience members laughing at her. Like, this is why people watch his show. It's because they want to laugh and be entertained by some crazy people. And Dr. Phil's definitely aware of this. That's probably why he put an end to this girl's segment so fast, because he knew she's right and he knew it looked bad. So he just said, you know what? That's not what I'm about. I'm going to end this right here. Because people have done so much worse on his show and he hasn't kicked him out like daniel bergoli wanted to fight an audience member and he still had her on but whenever someone actually calls him out he just puts an end to it right away and i'd have more respect for dr phil if he didn't take any guests that had like real serious trauma or like had some real issues going on and he stopped acting like he was actually helping people because like if this was like jerry springer or maury povich or something like that like everyone knows that shit is trash and they're not actually helping anybody but dr phil like people actually think they're gonna get real help here and he takes on people that have some serious issues like even if they do want to come on the show some Sometimes you should just say like, you know what, that's not best for you. I think you should go see a real psychologist because like, it's not going to help him. It's only making things worse. So the next example I have here of him exploiting someone is when he had on Shelley Duvall and she's a really big actress from like the 70s and 80s, I think. And you might know her from The Shining and she has some serious mental problems and paranoia and she's clearly not in the right state of mind. And Dr. Phil just sees this as content and in 2016 he interviewed her and I'm pretty sure this is the first time people have seen her in a while because she's a recluse and she's very good friends with Robin Williams who died two years years prior to this so I mean I'm sure that had a big impact on her and I just think it's in really bad taste to do an interview with her like even if she wanted to do it she's clearly not in the right state of mind and now I'm just gonna play the trailer for the interview which is just awful because he's trying to make her seem as crazy as possible here and it's just really bad Friday on an all-new Dr. Phil The Shining's Shelley Duvall from red carpet to near recluse I loved Robin Williams I don't think he's dead where do you think he is shape-shifting do you see him? Has, yes. A star's descent into mental illness. The man who's threatening me is the sheriff of Nottingham. I think there's a whirring disc inside me. I'm very sick. I need help. Well, that's why I'm here. That's Friday. Oh yeah, I'm sure Dr. Phil's trying to help a lot here with this interview. Like, just look at that trailer. It's trying to make her look as crazy as possible to the whole world. Like, what the fuck? This isn't helping anybody. Like, if you wanted to talk to her, yeah, maybe you can try to help her, but do not put it on the air. Like, you're clearly just trying to embarrass her here. It's pretty clear that he cares more about getting good content than actually helping anybody. Like, any real psychologist knows that this is one of the worst things you want to do with your patients. Like, talk about what they're going through, all the crazy shit they're dealing with in front of the whole world. And Dr. Phil knows this. Like, when he says, I'm here to help, like, he could barely even say that 
that with a straight face like he knows he's full of shit and another problem i have with dr phil is he brings on these kids that are like acting out you know like attacking their parents or brother and stuff like that and they're usually trying to do it for clout and like get tiktok followers or youtube followers or whatever and again dr phil just tries to act like he's going to help them and their family and make everything better and again it's just bullshit and he brings them on because he knows it's going to be good content and a lot of these kids they just want to go on the show because they know it's going to be more publicity for them like danielle bergoli is like a fucking millionaire now from going on the show and dr phil looks so desperate like trying to bring on these kids because that's the only way he can get views like come on you're calling yourself a doctor and you're acting like you're helping people like this is the dumbest shit ever like i remember at the beginning of this year i think it was there's this girl who's live streaming on youtube and she started making fun of this girl with cancer you know she's just trying to be like an asshole and really edgy and like act like a troll just to try to get some views and get people talking about her and then recently she ends up going on the dr phil show like it just looks too desperate like dr phil finds this girl who's like purposely acting like a troll and everything and then just gives her the clout she wants and brings her on his show so he can use her and make fun of her so he can get his views like this is so stupid like stop acting like you're some professional doctor sitting there just trying to help people and help them work through their problems like no one's buying this anymore except for some of your delusional fans that think you're an actual therapist up there just trying to help people and also dr phil's like 70 years old he's probably worth like 100 mil like why don't you just give it up already and stop acting like you're some 20 year old on the internet doing whatever they can just to get views all right so now i just want to play one more clip from dr phil's show and this is probably like one of the worst takes i've ever seen dr phil have and he just looks like such an idiot here these are michael's allegations he says that she attacked with football moves and tackles and punched <laughs> kicked in the face had a chair that was swung at him from across the room uh, his mouth was cut up, bloody nose and scratches on his face, neck, and chest. So you say she has come at you, she has attacked you, and that oftentimes you have done what you have done purely in defense. Yes, that incident, definitely. I don't care what she does. I if she starts away. punching you, mm -hmm. then you turn around and walk away. If she starts... <laughs> If she starts, if she starts falling. So right off the bat, I guess this audience thinks it's funny that this guy's wife is abusing him and Dr. Phil like is treating it like a joke. And then he tells him no matter what, the only way he can defend himself is by running away. And I would say you should try your best to run away, but you're not gonna be able to do that in every scenario. And could you imagine telling someone that if their partner's abusing them, that it's like their fault and they should just run away and they can't really defend themselves? That's pretty much what Dr. Phil's doing here. Like he's taking this guy who's getting attacked by his girlfriend or wife or whatever, like he gets abused by her and she hits him and stuff. And he's saying that it's basically his fault because he defends himself like imagine if the roles were reversed here and this woman came on talking about how her husband's abusing her and like dr phil read off a list of things that the husband was doing to her but then it's like well it's your fault because you're defending yourself you just got to run away like why would you stand there and take it like you should never defend yourself you should always just run away and just he made it all about her like that would be fucking insane people would lose their minds over it like even the clip that we just watched that did not get a good reception like it got mostly dislikes all the people in the comments were talking trash about dr phil and saying he's an asshole and it's pretty crazy that his audience is going along with all this like they're all sitting there clapping like yeah fuck this guy he's he's in the wrong here and that's another problem with dr phil is there's people that watch him and think he's like legit and he actually knows what he's talking about and he's got the right take on everything and his audience is so brainwashed that they think that this guy who's getting abused by his wife is like the one to blame here like dr phil is not someone that people should go to for advice he's not like very credible like no one should take him that seriously and if he actually wanted to help people this is not the way he would go about it like if you want to have on all these crazy kids that are trying to act out and become celebrities by being assholes and shit like fine go ahead and do that i still think it's kind of weird and you're definitely not helping any of them but if that's what you want to do i guess go ahead and do it it's not that serious but i don't think you should be having on these people with really serious mental issues just for the whole world to watch we all know you're not helping anyone you're probably just making things worse like why don't you actually help them and tell them to go to a real psychologist and meet with them privately instead of coming on your show in front of the whole world just so people can laugh and make fun of them all right so that's about all i have for this video make sure you leave me a comment let me know what you think of dr phil then hit that like button hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you at the next video.